and welcome back to Maple Lane Creates. Today I will be creating a coloring book. Let's get started. This paper is a bit more thick than this other paper and I'm going to use it for the cover of the coloring book. All right, so let's get started on the cover. So I'm going to be using the Sharpie to color a front. So we're going, I think that I'm going to write coloring book right at the front, just like that. And then let's add a cupcake right here and like a little bear in this corner. So we're just going to add a few little drawings to the front. And then right here, we're going to put by Maple Lane Creates. And there we go. All right, so now let's go ahead and push this out of the way and let's work on our new one. So this is a regular sheet of paper, and I'm going to color on it for the first coloring book page. Let's start on the drawing. I'm going to start off with drawing a bear, and he's holding some ice cream, and then I drew a fox, and he's holding some ice cream too. And I'm going to go ahead and use the pen and trace it all. That way the outline will be much darker. Now let's do the fox. I'm sorry if the camera angle is a little bad. And here's how it looks. I'm just going to quickly add a line back here and this will be the floor. And here's how it looks all finished. And now let's work on our next page. Here it is and let's start with the pencil sketch. I'm going to go ahead and do a bowling scene of a little bunny in a cute hat bowling. And now we're going to go in with the pen. And here's how it looks. And now we are going to color it. And let me just move it down because there's a bump that keeps getting in the way. It was this area. This sketch is finished, so now let's bring in our next paper. All right, and now let's get started. I um, went ahead and started with the pencil sketch. And in this one, I decided to do a winter scene of a little bear and some cute winter gear and sorry if that pen looked a little weird i was trying to film it while it was in time lapse but it just ended up looking a little bit weird and while i was babbling we've already gotten onto the final sketch and here's how the bear looks i gave him a hot cocoa mug and i decided to write hot cocoa on it but i spelled cocoa wrong and it's super annoying but you know what it's okay and now let's get a new sheet of paper for our next drawing. So I'm going to do a giant rainbow with a fox sliding down it. So it's like a little slide. And I already finished the pen final coat, I guess. I'm not sure what to call it. But anyway, I decided to cover the whole thing in stars just to make it a bit more fun. I decided to add some of these stars too that have eight sides and not just five like I've been doing. And now I'm going to get a new sheet of paper and I'm going to show you guys how to draw some stars because I do have a few friends who aren't sure how. So for this star, you're going to go up, then down, then across, then across, and then down again. And then for the bigger star, you're going to go down, then this way, then across, then down this way, and then up, and then down, and then across, and then you're going to up and connect it to your first line. That was not that good though since that side is a bit bigger. And that side's a little too short, so, well, I guess not all stars are perfect. None of those are that good, but that's okay. This one's pretty good, though. And now let's get this paper out of the way, and here's all the drawings incomplete. Which one is your guys' favorite? I don't have one. I love them all so much, although this bear is so adorable. Although that hot cocoa is really, really annoying me. But anyway, I think that they're all really great. This one's really cute too. And now we're going to use another thick sheet of paper, just like this one, for the back of the coloring book. And now we're going to staple that all together, just like this. And as you can see, I decorated my stapler and stickers. And here is the coloring book. And I think that it turned out so cute. I love all the pa- wait, Oh, dang it. I stapled some of the pages upside down. Okay, this one's normal. Oh, this one's upside down. <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. But I guess it's okay. I guess it'll just make the book just a bit more fun with a few upside down pages. You can always flip it right side up and then you can see that bear too. But from upside down, you can't read that I spelled Coco wrong, so that's not so bad. And my sister has already started coloring it. 
guys she finished coloring it and here's how the pages look here's the first one here's the second one that i accidentally stapled upside down here's the third one and look she even gave him a little orange coat and then here's this one i love how it looks and i think that the way that she colored it was so fun she even colored the front and decorated the letters well that's all for today guys bye thank you for watching <laughs>